Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Commander's Crypt. Today, we've got Chishiro the Shattered Blade. We've got multiple infinite loops that this guy can do. He says that whenever an aura or equipment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 red spirit creature token with menace. So this guy creates you a lot of dummies, but he also allows you to do lots of infinite loops. The first loop that we're going to talk about today is going to be with an enchantment called Rhines of the Vine Steed. It says that when enchanted creatures put into a graveyard, you may return Rhines of the Vine Steed from your graveyard to play attached to a creature that shares a creature type with that creature. So what you're going to do is you're going to cast Rhines of the Vine Steed on a spirit, sacrifice that spirit to Goblin Bombardment, and then when the vines hit the graveyard they go back on to another spirit Chishiro sees this creates another spirit you sacrifice the next spirit to the goblin bombardment rinse and repeat the next infinite combo that we're going to talk about with Chishiro is Godo the bandit lord you're going to put this in your deck and Godo says when uh he comes into play, you may search your library for an equipment card and put it into play. If you do, shuffle your library. So you're going to go get your Helm of the Host. Once the Helm of the Host is on, what's going to happen is every uh, time you go to a combat step, Helm of the Host will create a new Godo. Godo says start another combat step. Helm of the Host makes another Godo. And so then you're able to do infinite combat steps with him. Goto does this with samurais. Chishiro is a samurai, and so is Torian Mahler. Torian Mahler came in the deck and is very good in this deck because he gets very big quick. So with Goto, Bandit Warlord, and Helm of the Host, you will be able to have multiple combat steps with Chishiro and other samurais in your deck. The next infinite loop that we're going to talk about in Chishiro is the Hellkite Charger and Sword of Feast and Famine. Sword of Feast and Famine, once you put it on a creature, once it does combat damage, it untaps all your lands. Hellkite Charger says whenever Hellkite Charger attacks, you may pay seven. If you do, untap all attacking creatures, and after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. You could use Sword of Feast and Famine or Bear Umbra with this combo. The last combo that we're going to talk about today is Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker and the Aki Battle Squad. With Kiki Jiki, you can continue to make Battle Squad tokens into infinity and beyond. As long as Kiki Jiki is modified, he untaps. And you, again, have multiple infinite combat steps. Thanks for watching.